cockpit. This is where the pilots control the sentinel. Hmm. They appear to lose their clothes on entry. Who would have thought? Look at that silhouette. <laughs> Yo. That could be cheese. anybody. <laughs> Ooh. Bald head. Dummy thick. Dummy plug. <laughs> what else is blue? Bento, bento with, with meatballs. meatballs. A bento with meatballs that Megumi Yakushiji made. Kitaro Miura supposedly enjoyed this while on the top of the riverbed, enjoying the view of Keiri River. Aside from the meatballs, the bento has a large umeboshi, hijiki, boiled spinach, kinpira gobo, an omelette, and butter sauteed squash. And just like that, Vanillaware food porn is back. Mm -hmm. I told you that that's what they do. They've never made a game without food porn, and here it is. Note the detail in the art and in the description. Yep. Now, keep this in mind, all right? Let me scroll back up to... Cockpit. <laughs> this is where the pilots control the Sentinel. They appear to lose their clothes on entry. Thanks! Yep. Thanks. Don't think too hard about it. It's fine. But what's for lunch, though? Oh, fuck. Time to go on about mm -hmm. it. Like one of those waiters that won't shut up. Yes, sautéed <laughs> with a bit, a bit of rose petals. Yeah, I don't need to know about the reduction. Yes, Thank you. The garlic was picked off in a forest in Spain and <laughs> dried for seven days. We grow our own chickens, <laughs> grain-fed, yes. just down the street from here. They listen to Billy Joel only. <laughs> <laughs> Stress-free environment. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, you can go now. Food porn in effect. The most popular item from the first floor cake shop at the apartment where Tomi used to live. Kisaragi and, uh, Kisaragi and Megumi Yakushiji would eat one at least once a week. <sighs> Pear tarts. The food shit, dude. Like every game. Yeah. Oh, man. George is a glut. That motherfucker eats. I can feel it. Wow, I want some, well, some treats now. We, we got some points to spend, too. At what time does Rockaberry close? Hey, we don't need to ask those questions. <laughs> don't ask questions that you don't need the answers to. Okay, fine. Fine. Uh, Professor Doji, we don't know what he looks like yet. So we can spend one on that. Oh, my God. What was I think? I was... All right. Why would they show it to you? <laughs> you know this already, man. Oh. Okay. His first name is Hazel. In 1945, he's involved with the development of a secret weapon for fighting against the Americans. He has a daughter named Kiriko Doji. He's the originator of Shikishima technology. Shikishima's technological strides after the war were thanks to his groundwork. Oh, he's in the cockpit. Right. <laughs> you know... <laughs> Just don't think too hard about don't don't sweat right. these points. I'm gonna have to buy this again at some point. Professor is dummy thick. Um yeah, perhaps. Perhaps that's what's happening. <laughs> we got the locations again, whatever. Bankara. What's Bankara? What is the Bankara? I have Probably no idea. food. Might be food. It's next to the Bento and Pear mm -hmm. Tart, so I'm assuming it's food. Uh threes. Japanese history book. Let's get the brown envelope. An envelope that was on the ground near where A. Sekigahara woke up. There was a document and a note inside. The document says, Chihiro Morimura, 31, Sakura High School nurse, a key member of Shikishima's weapon development team. The note says, if capture is not possible, then shoot to kill. Shoot to kill. Every day. Uh, what about, then... Uh... I guess one of these then. Yeah, we don't really know much about Kurabe besides her pill situation. Mm hmm. She lives in 1945 with Kitaro Miura's little sister, Chihiro. Tamao Kurabe has repeatedly been receiving medicine from Renya Goto, which causes her to suddenly remember strange dreams. However, she starts receiving a different type of medicine one day that has the opposite effect, causing her to forget what she sees in her dreams. So she lives with uh, Mira too, then. Or at least Mira's sister. 
So yeah, she's remembering stuff. So she's raising um, teacher. Yep. Uh, the nurse. Yeah. Okie dokie. Remembrance. Oh, what do you want to do? Uh, there's uh, one or two characters that we haven't started, right? Yuki? That might be huh. the only one. Oh, we're going right in it. Mm -hmm. The story of Yuki Takamiya. Like them gloves on her hands. Mm -hmm. Always ready this for action. Of course, the track room's all the way in the back. Hold on a second. Uh, if I were to look at my saves here. Uh... Okay. Right there. Hmm. All right. Okay. Oh. <laughs> hey. Not John. Yuki-chan? You got tall, Nachan. Your hair's so long, Yuki-chan. I almost didn't recognize you. Oh, really? You're the one who told me hmm. to grow it out. Remember? That's right. You stopped writing back to me. I was worried, you know. Oh, yeah. you were pen pals? Hmm. A lot of things happened after the move. But I just got transferred here. Today's my first day. Really? I knew you went to this school too. Figured I'd find you eventually. It's good to see your face again. Though I never took you for a track girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's so many things I want to talk to you about. Aren't you in the middle of practice right now? I've got to get somewhere too. But now we can see each other anytime. Totally. Keep working hard, Nachan. You know it. Later. Did you hear that slime slime on the to the screen? See you tomorrow, Yugi Chan. Mm -hmm. Just slurp yeah. all over the place. Yugi Chan. Yugi -chan. Ah. So you're finally here. Wait. <laughs> like oh my god. <laughs> ways in middle school but we still kept writing to each other she's the only person I really care about mm -hmm. right okay <sighs> mm -hmm. how is that possible if she's from 2187 it's not these childhood friends' lines are a lie. They're all lies. These childhood friend things are bullshit. I'm telling you, dude. We keep putting too much faith in them for an alibi, and they never make sense. Okay, let's go. Don't call me that. I don't like being called by my name. It's a funny line, and out of context. Yeah. Your opinion. Shut up. It's fine if it's her. Oh. Uh, you remember me, right? I don't know. Who are you again? How about the Damn. guy you were destined oh, to Oh God. More like a random guy I bumped into in the shopping district. Don't get all weird about it. Aw, oh, you're so cruel, Yuki-chan. I said, quit calling me that. It sucks because I really wanted to like him. Hey, <laughs> I like his casual demeanor. You. It just oh, it's just, just unfortunate that he's just full of the fucking hell? guck. Well, well, well. If it isn't Takami of Suzu High. What are you doing on our turf? Not trying to stake a claim, are you? She just transferred here, actually. Oh, he doesn't like that. Some flirty rich kid who won't stop following me around. Yep. 
He seems to be close friends with a gang leader at Sakura. Built up a reputation as a tough guy. All the way back in middle school, actually. Every delinquent around here knows who he is. <laughs> the transfer, huh? You got the wrong uniform on, sweetheart. Oh, look! Th that's... It's just because that damn Four Eyes made a mistake. I mean... Obviously. Don't want to go around wearing those girly skirts anyhow. Hmm. We done? We done? No. All right. It seems kind of weird if you ask me. A transfer at this time of year? Maybe that's just how it happened for her. Or maybe she's trying to pull some shit. Dude, relax. Hey, just lay off already. But why'd she come here of all places? Like, can you can you internalize how un un unbelievably oh. unimportant the high school turf map is? The concept of turf in fucking high school. Found her. What's up? Who are you? Go on then. Detective. I've been waiting for you. You're dismissed. I'd like to speak with her alone. Hmm. Yuki Takamiya, 16 years old. A first year at Suzugamine Girls High School. Entered a boys' school and engaged multiple delinquents. Twelve of which were sent to the hospital. Whoa. Your reputation precedes you. <laughs> oh, shit. Seems legit. I went to Nigakuri to settle a score. And somehow the cops managed to sniff me out. One of those dicks must have snitched. I went to Nigakuri to sudden somehow the one of those dicks. <sighs> you seem a little tense. Allow me to get to the point. We've taken notice of your particular set of skills. We'd like to work with you. Seriously? Any of those Kuri boys end up dead? Three had bone fractures, the others just bruises and scrapes. <laughs> That's too bad. Hmm. Got something to say? They're the ones who laid their filthy hands on my friend. It's the JoJo punishment. Oh. After a bad guy gets beat, Yo. they end up in the hospital for X amount of days. All I did was give them what they had coming. None of your damn business anyways. And by that, you mean selling out my friends? I'm not going to be your stooge, and I don't work with cops. Go find some other sucker. Your father, Heita Takamiya, currently serving a sentence for the murder of a gang member. Oh, shit. Yeah? So what? There have been attempts on his life by other inmates. Not surprising, since the man he killed was a gang leader. I imagine it's a matter of reputation for them. Your father has been assaulted twice, but he is alive. For now. <sighs> now, if we were so inclined, it would be quite easy to transfer him to a safer facility. Contingent on your cooperation, of course. God, I hate you already. He's behind bars for stabbing a Yakuza. Maybe he's nothing but a too-big gangster, but... He's the only real family I have. And he's in jail? Mm -hmm. That's not a good place to be if you stop the Yakuza. Are you familiar with Shikishima Industries? Publicly, they manufacture a wide range of products. Rockets, planes, trains, ships, even home appliances. Not so publicly, it seems they're also developing nuclear weapons. Mm hmm. Rockets, planes, trains, ships. Okay. So they have a, yeah, there's a public face. We suspect they are colluding with another nation to do so. And what does that have to do with me? We began investigating and found that several miners are connected to these weapons. All of these children are of high school age. 
and are being rounded up at a school affiliated with Shikishima. That would be the sketchiest news headline on the planet Earth. Yep. <laughs> yeah, if that's we ever had to up. wake up in the morning, flop your Twitter on, and fucking refresh and see, like, uh, uh, um, what? What's your, what's your, Halliburton is working with high school children <laughs> on a secret defense weapons program. And you're like, <gasps> <laughs> like, what? Click. <laughs> So weapons and children to make nuclear weapons this shit sounds ridiculous shikishima it's that company with all those commercials for tvs and fridges so they're making weapons too and somehow donald's Rum rumsfeld's getting a piece <laughs> <laughs> somehow he's getting a cut uh all right so they're making weapons but what do these kids have to do with it? I'm glad to see I've piqued your interest. Take a look at those documents on the table. It's a list of their names. If you bastards got that much dirt on them, why don't you just bust into Shikishima yourselves? We'd prefer not to have this go public. Mm -hmm. And the less the police are involved, the better. Wait, if you're not the cops, then who the hell are you guys? Mysterious man. <laughs> we are a special investigations unit. Government established and affiliated. Some might call us spies. I am director of the SIU and your superior. Okay, so men in black are not necessarily um, Shikishima then. Though that was a mis... Uh, misassumption. That damn four eyes. He says there's some spy agency. It's short for Special Investigations Unit. They may not be cops, but they're honestly all the same to me. Okay. Uh, class 1B, Iori Fuyusaka. Class 2A, Renya Goto. More Class 1, Kisaragi, Karabe. Class 1C, Natsuno Minami? We need someone to investigate these students. And that someone is you, Yuki Takamiya. Oh. Chan. That's how she comes in. Oh, I her. <sighs> Who's this? Who is this? Allow me to introduce you. This is Ryoko Shinonome. She is another undercover investigator. Oh! And your superior. Just as she did, you'll be transferring to Sakura High School. Okay, there she is. We'll handle the paperwork. Hey, pump your brakes, you old man. I haven't agreed to any of this shit yet. They got dirt on you too, Dopey? Mm-hmm. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Is she the one? Yes, she is. Hey, I'm talking to you. She doesn't look like she knows much. <laughs> I can already tell I'm not gonna like you. Body language. <sighs> knees facing inward. Yeah. Fucked up posture. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Defensive arm position. A million things to read. Get a hole on yourself. What the right? Jesus. You have quite the abrasive personality. You have quite the... Any snacks in the back? No. Is that actually the end of that thread? Yeah, I guess that's the end of it. You can't interact with her? Nope. Maybe... Yeah, I guess... You have quite All right, let's maybe go. you exit and she'll go like, No, wait! We're not 
finished. <laughs> Do you accept your assignment? I don't give a shit about your assignment. Well then, I think it's safe to say we're not getting through to her. But if Minami don't overhears, worry. she will work with us. Big confusion. It's her destiny after all. Okay, SIU, government spies. Yeah. Independent agency. Not the same as our Shikishima. No sign of her today either. Where are you, Nachan? Yeah, looking for someone. See. That right? Yes. Nachan, my childhood friend. We went our separate ways in middle school. But we still kept writing to each other. Mm -hmm. She's the only person I really care about. Where is she? Did you need something or hmm. Natsuno Minami's in your class, isn't she? Oh, yeah. It's another She's one of those situations where it took too long, right? And Juro came out. But it's like, well, maybe am I not going to check on. the thought out? I guess, I guess, ignore, I guess. Maybe he's just going on his own way, you know? Or, or like, maybe like, so should I do the interaction first and then do the wandering thought later in these, in these conversations, maybe? Like, don't think to yourself while the person might be still walking away. Stop thinking about these goblins. Okay, all right, all right, all right. You just, you're just hurting yourself. The teacher just said she was out sick. Did they hear from her directly? I don't know. Hmm. Like, what are you gonna do? Just stop Sorry every time and wait a bit for people to come, you know? Yeah, like, I, you I can't do I anything don't, I don't about know. it. I don't know. You just don't want to miss a moment, and unfortunately... Hiwa-chan. <laughs> um... Do you need something? Oh, no. Never mind. No, you sure? Yui chan, any news? No one at the school seems to know anything. Mm, I hope Natsuno chan's okay. Oh, shit, what? Uh, what should we do? Stop by Natsuno chan's house again? Those weird guys might still be there, though. <sighs> You. What happened? Hmm? Like now. I heard you talking about Natsuno Minami. Who are you? Takamiya, but that's beside the point. I want to know what's oh, going there's, on with uh, Natsuno. Mm -hmm. Why hasn't she been to school? It sounds like she hasn't been at home either. We went to her house yesterday. But her mom just kept apologizing over the intercom. The police were there too. Were they really the police though? <sighs> were? Well, that's worrying. Thanks for letting me know. Usami-chan! Sorry, did I keep you waiting? <laughs> it's okay. Let's get going. What are you doing? What do you mean? What's your problem? You remember your orders, don't you? You're supposed to keep a low profile. Hmm, huh, I can't recall. Maybe you've forgotten about your father, too. What did you say? Wow. Straight up. One more thing. Don't go looking for Natsuno Minami. What? Why not? Those guys they thought were the police. They're agents with the SIU. In any case, Natsuno Minami isn't your concern. She's a part of my assignment. 
so stay out of my way. Are we clear? So if I you buck these <laughs> so SIU agents went to her place and yeah. she's gone missing since But we know what really happened, obviously, is she warped out of the reality. Time to do what I do best. But they're 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 you know mm. trying to figure it out too. They're in their own line. Oh my god. This is unacceptable. Beautiful. I thought I made it clear that you are not to contact me. I need to know what happened to Natsuno Minami. And I know you have answers. Teenagers run away from home all the time. That's what the police say, but the school insists she's out sick. Looks like nobody can get their story straight. So which is it, huh? I'm not an idiot, you know. Your suspicions are not unfounded. But our investigation is still ongoing. Mm -hmm. I don't have a clear answer myself. We don't know where she is, or even if she's still alive. The evidence so far points to kidnapping. Who the hell would want to kidnap her? I'll take she care of it. They could have done it without anyone realizing she was gone. There'd be no need to draw such attention to themselves. No. Someone else is behind this. And that's who Shinonome is looking for? <laughs> Someone at the school could be behind this. Although, interesting thing to note, to note is that, like, we are currently... Uh, what button was it? Was it... I have to do it outside of conversation. Uh, but, like... We're currently in the timeline after she left it. After Minami? Minami left, left yeah. yeah. So, her prologue is post Minami leaving, whereas a lot of other people's prologues were in mm. the kind of like same general right. moment. Yeah, it's possible they are there even now. In any case, the situation is dangerous. I suggest you keep your nose out of it. Shinonome kun has this under control. As for you, Takamiya-kun, you will continue to monitor the other students as instructed. Have I made myself clear? <laughs> Screw that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, a little blackmail setup. Yes. And that was 14%. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, so we do have this. We need Ogata's poison event. Oh boy! Oh, this is so cool. This is a, this is clearly a super interesting one to follow through on for sure. Um, and then for her, of course, we are looking at routes one and two. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. So, a uh, quick check over here. <sighs> yep. Okay. <laughs> the start of all events. The first event is this one? Event number one. That sent us for a fucking loop is this shit right here. Dear God. Oh man, okay. Oh, how much importance should I give to this? I, oh my god. I, yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Anything, dude, anything is possible with time travel and, and, and amnesia. Absolutely anything. So when someone talks about childhood memories, I just fucking... Uh, mm -hmm. You know, like, all right, okay. Boy. And then immediately after that comes 1985. And dream. that dream. But yep. it was a... 
whatever that day was, it's a dream, but, I mean, whatever, assuming it's not. Um... On Judgment Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Operation Igis. Building rooftop on the precipice of the Kaiser invasion. Shiro 2064. Morimura. Discussing the fate of the world. They're interrupted by A, right? Then this happens. You yeah, the the, God, the, the, chron uh, the chronology. Fuck. The scene oh, there's some red stuff, yeah. yeah. So the Sukebomb girl, Yuki Takamiya, scouted by the man with glasses, the director. Just did. Uh, and then... Them talking the talk. outside. She moved, and then there were pen paws, but they stopped writing to each other. And then a slime appeared. Command. Mm -hmm. uh, new old building. Yes, they shipped to the, to the 40s. Best friends meddling. Yep, uh, that was a while back. Right. Oh no, Yuki's working with the government? What? Machan's gone. Keep your nose out. Okay. 10% analysis. Okay, what's the next step? Let's I'm, I'm tempted, like, I really just want to keep going on this. Yeah? Yeah. Big fan? It's, I mean, he's fine, but what's going on is really interesting. No matter where I am, at least the sunset is always the same. And he gives us a clue to the context of where the rest of this goes. Because, mm. like... We've seen him, like, yeah, he's a catalyst, right? He's a catalyst for everybody, like, getting uh, uh, their sentinels, so. I don't care that we lost. I'm proud my country could rebuild after what happened. But I won't accept this future. Now that I know we lose the war, that's all the more reason to go back. <laughs> I'll bring the Sentinel with me, and I'll change history. It's my duty to fight and protect the people. I have to save as many of them as I can. Mm. But what if it's impossible mm. for me to go back? What if I'm trapped here? Shihiro. All right, that's enough. Get it together. Don't get discouraged. You will make it back. That's two of them that are like. No matter what it takes. Undo Hiroshima. You know? I yeah. wonder. What if I never actually traveled through time? It's possible that space time here is warped somehow. But it could just be a local effect. I should try heading toward the school. Maybe time is flowing normally over there. Huh. Interesting theory. But let me fucking keep thinking for a second video game <laughs> I checked the library for any records of such a weapon but in all of history nothing like it has ever existed not in the US not anywhere what was that thing our mother's terrible at sewing but she made this for Chihiro yeah. I've never seen her struggle with it. it's pieced together with scraps even still Chihiro took it with her why were just the sentinel and not that thing is beyond me but i know it's capable of some time travel that could the sentinel possess mm -hmm. before the war my uncle gave me a, a story about travel it only ever felt like to think it ever okay. it's possible that space time but it could just be a, i should try okay. it probably gonna have to present it to someone No, just trigger the teller, the location change. Yeah. Despite a catastrophic loss, oh. Japan recovered quite well. It seems to have entered a prosperous new era. Almost too prosperous. Would you say decadent? <laughs> Hurry up, Miwa chan! Slow down, Iori chan! Female students. 
Looks like the school's still here. <laughs> Isn't that... Hey, hold on! <laughs> Miyorkun? Okay. Thank goodness! You're Natsuno Minami, right? The one I met at the shrine. What are you doing here? I've got to say, you had me pretty worried. I had no idea where you went. We never saw her come back, did we? We saw no, her. She was trapped the yeah, last time. We never we saw, saw her, her make it back. So we're going to have to see <laughs> what else is that story. But we need to go through Yuki Takabiya's to first. Get to, to, to get, get through, through to that. her. Yeah. So there's a lot that happened to her. But last in we saw, this. <laughs> yeah. absolutely, she was not in the present anymore. And by the present, I mean the the, the reference that the, you arbitrarily decide to the, like the, past the most <laughs> of the future. That is 1985. Okay. God, man, some shit went down the year I was born. <laughs> it was a complicated ass year. I just, I can't believe you're here too. I couldn't find you anywhere. I thought you got snatched up and hauled off to Area 51. But anyway, what have you been up to? Wait, first... Where have you been? <sighs> a kind student's been letting me stay at his place. Aside from that, I've been sleeping outdoors. Outdoors? Natsuno-san. <sighs> Together, Kato. God damn. She certainly is quite. Yes. I admit she's bright, cheerful, attractive. He's never seen so much skin. But right now. Just showing on broad daylight like this. What pants? To know something. I get it. Uh, I. Hang on. This is my mess, so I have to figure out how to clean it up. But then again. Hmm. I can't really bring a boy into the house. Oh yeah. Granny Tamao went on a trip. Granny so Tamao should be the only one home. That house does have a lot of rooms. Granny Tamao? Uh, sorry. Let me go grab my stuff really quick. I'll be right back, so just wait here. Then we'll head over to the Karabe's house. Blue flash from off screen. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh shit, what power did she get? Oh my god. <laughs> Managed to leave quite the dent. Oh, oh. Little Chihiro. Chihiro? <laughs> you don't have to cry. It's not like you did this on purpose. I'm sure Uncle isn't mad about it anymore. What about you? Are you mad? Of course not. I'm your big brother. I'll always be on your side, Chihiro. Now, come on out. So, how do you hit the pillar with the laundry bucket? You must have been playing pretty rough. The bunny was biting. And it beat up giant ghosts. Because the ghosts smash all the houses. And more of them keep coming. Aww. Such strange ghosts. Did you come up with them yourself? No, Tamao told me about them. I'm sorry, Chihiro-chan. My father has quite a short temper. Yeah, what is this living arrangement then? It's her house and her family, and you guys are living with them, it seems. I'm sorry. This was all my fault. Tamao-san. It only happened because I told Chihiro-chan about my dreams. Is it okay for you to be awake right now? Mm-hmm. I've been feeling much better lately. 
And I have Goto-san from Tokyo to thank for that. He's been sharing some foreign medicine with me. Mm -hmm. It's just that ever since I started taking it, I keep having strange dreams. But they feel like more than just dreams. They're like memories that I just suddenly remember. <laughs> oh no, not that noise. The sirens. This is bad. Damn. To prepare against the coming invasion, we ask all citizens to unite as we fortify our air defenses. Yeah. It's a massive enemy raid. We have to hurry to a bombproof shelter. Come on, Chihiro chan. We have to go. Mm. That was a lot of tatamis in that room, though. That was wide. Gerald Kuhn, are you home? Minami san. Same. Couldn't you have knocked first? Layout. Come on, your Granny Tamao and I are best buds. We're neighbors. Think I don't know my way around the place? Anyway, I've got a favor to ask. Oh, Minami san. I didn't know you lived so close. Oh, same house. Did you really need to come out? Oh! Your Yagashi. What are you doing here? Are I... you having a little date or something? I... No, Where'd you come out from? Well, that... Hold on. Jisan, our classmate? Wait. Yeah, wait, right? You two... Right? Yo. Do you need something? Studying. <laughs> Do you need something? We're busy. It's not what it looks like. Sister. This is just... You know? You know. Yo, he got... <laughs> not in a sun. Oh, come on in. Also, Tamau, Granny Tamau, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Probably just hanging in there through that timeline, experiencing it the real way, unlike all these fucking jump skippers. She was like, everything is fine. She probably didn't teleport out and got old. Mm -hmm. Normally. Pardon my interruption. Yo, Joe's gonna be like, yo, who's this guy? <sighs> so this house is still standing. Who are you? My name is Keitaro Miura. So, um, it's kind of complicated, but yeah. Kurabe means this is post wipe. Okay. I'm um, it's a, well sorry, hold on. Mm. Izumi. Yes. When does the gas explosion occur? I guess... Was it at the beginning and the bottom? Or, oh, yeah. Yes, this is when it happens. Uh, yeah. Suppose. So this is clearly to before that, then. But... <sighs> He's meeting him, and he didn't already meet him, but he met him, and he triggered the thing that caused it to appear. But now he's yeah. meeting him already, and it didn't trigger already. But he's clearly still around, and nobody's talking about the robot incident. Right? Oh, my God. Like, he met him randomly on the street, yeah. and then what the fuck? Boom! Ooh. Robot! Yeah. Hard cut to some other time, some other place. They're meeting again. No big robot, and also no conclusion to what the fuck happened there, besides the mind wipe that his friend did on him. Yep, I guess we'll have to keep on going. Mm. But did Mira get another wipe there too? Because wouldn't Mira be like, hey, you're that kid I ran into, and then the sentinel appeared. Unless, unless 
Uh, what was the friend's name again? Uh, whatever his name was, wiped Sheba. them both. Sheba okay. wiped them both, unless he wiped them both. Um, but yeah. Huh. I need you to let him stay over for a few days. What? How do you know Minami-san? Come on, I know you have a spare room. Just let him stay until your granny's back. In exchange, I won't tell anyone you're living with a girl. That's not... The details don't matter. Just let him stay, all right? Thanks. See ya! Yeah? You know, She's no, still staying no, there. No info. She's still in the corner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Natsuno-san, is this... It's fine, it's fine. I live super close by. So if you need anything, just let me know. There she goes. Well, this is awkward. Pardon me. I know Natsuno-san's intentions are good, but... I really don't want to be an inconvenience. Are you hungry? Why don't you join us for dinner? Oh. No, I shouldn't. Okay, bye. <laughs> Your stomach thinks you should. <laughs> no. no, that was... Uh... I'll go fix you a plate. Samurai shampoo noises. <laughs> So, Tamao-san is your grandmother? What's going on? Yeah. Is she in good health? Drew's like, I was gonna have a good night. Listen, a man. Ugh. I guarantee you it's t tutor, stepsister, or some other fucking, you know, whatever thing. Clearly. Okay. He's doing fumble protagonist shit. <laughs> Fumble Shujinko. You you knew you know what this is. Okay. Don't fine. even pretend for a second. It's what you think it fine. is. Fine. She's visiting relatives back in Shimane. That's why she isn't here. Shimane. She must be with her mother's side of the family in Iwami. Do you know my grandma? Yes. Oh boy. You do, huh? So then? How long do you need a place to stay? Not long. Just until I can make my way back home. Well, alright. If that's the case, it shouldn't be a problem. Just try not to cause any trouble. That's fair. Feel free to use the guest room on the first floor. Thank you. Damn, they have floors? Yeah. Yo. She's living in luxury. I guess Goto hooks up pills and cash. Mm-hmm. No, uh... Takes care of them real nice. Looking for uh, any secret badges back here? <laughs> <laughs> There's a projection device where the radio used to be. It's been lightly remodeled, but it's the same house. I could have sworn it burned to the ground. He did see a Karabi house uh, burned down. Mm-hmm. on this pillar is missing and it wasn't changed when they remodeled if this really is the Karabe's house Fuck. oh no he's gonna say it is he Fuck. he's gonna split this shit open he's don't, don't. oh my god and it should be right here mm -hmm. Chihiro left a dent in this pillar oh my we can't, god we can't <sighs> 2188. Yeah. Fine. Fine. Sure. There was a wooden single story house. Sure. It was built in the middle of the 20th century. Granny's in the fucking future. <laughs> oh. 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 Damn it. Oh. 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 Are you serious? Oh. oh. Okay. Oh. Boy. All right, fuck this. I'm just putting all the pieces. To, I'm, yep. just, I'm putting it down. I don't care. Corkboard, fuck you. Just, just go. Let's just go. That humble little place stood for about a hundred years. My grandfather often told me stories about it. Some of his fondest childhood memories were at that house. 
That sounds lovely. I'll have it produced for you. You will. But all I have left are old photographs. They will have the house produced for her? Or the memory? Oh my god! Wait, 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 wait. My oh, there was a there was a house. It stood there for a hundred years. He's either gonna build the house or the memory, <laughs> or build the house in that timeline where he's like, "There's no dent here." Wait, oh my god, never mind. I, I'm I'm afraid of saying things and confusing well, myself no, but even the, more. But so you, well, the, okay, <laughs> build the house or the memory. <laughs> The where the house would be in the former doesn't in say where that's gonna be. It yeah. might be on the colony, or it might be in the, um, the past. In a timeline? Oh my, did you time I don't know. Oh, that fuck. that's that seems a bit ridiculous. That might be. That's multiple timelines. I think I think we're like uh, yeah, multiple timelines, multiple multiple realities. Yes, but like anyway, let the conversation oh go. God. We just said we were putting it down. Okay, right? don't touch it. That's fine. I can restore them for you. Thank you, Mira-san. I'm looking forward to it. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare end. Oh. Okay. Are you just on a call with someone else? With Professor Karabe, yes. Professor Karabe? Him out. Yeah, okay. God damn, what? Yeah, okay. All right. Well, we were discussing the layout of the residential zone. Oh, that's right. Professor Karabi was born in the 21st century. She's 120 years old. Maybe right? on the colony? They will build a house? Would that be. But even then, she's 120 years old. She's 120 oh my years God. old, Reggie. What? Did time stop and they activated the Aegis and then killed time and now we're just walking through like whatever the fuck happens from here on like and all right I know that she's receiving nano machine treatment but she still looks so young This is wild she's Professor Morimura's mentor right here quite an intelligent individual well, yeah, she is the foremost expert on AI, after all. Okay, so she she did raise and teach Chihiro, and she's the foremost expert on AI. And nano machines are keeping her kicking, <laughs> and she's basically Senator Armstrong. Got it. Right. Anyway, is something wrong? Why does something have to be wrong for me to call? just so happen to have a really urgent problem. I need emotional support stat. Oh. And I need it from you. Uh, what if she's not real? <laughs> what if she, what if they're AI? Well, I don't know. Like, what if none of this is what real? What is everything? What if, what if none oh, of it is fucking real? We've reached real? a point where everything might be a... They're <laughs> all this? robots. Does this matter? She ain't real. <laughs> none of it. Oh. Urgent. You're not real. Feels like we're flying in space with no bearings right now. What the? <sighs> the house that shouldn't exist.